A Rolling Stone article was released on Monday that has caused quite an uproar about late Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins. During this Rolling Stone report, they spoke to a number of his peers, famous drummers and musicians, and close personal friends. Multiple people interviewed for this report in Rolling Stone claimed that Taylor Hawkins was absolutely exhausted by the Foo Fighters touring schedule and had become very burned out. Now, multiple people who have participated in this news report have released statements distancing themselves from that report. What is interesting, though, is they spoke to multiple different people who essentially expressed the same sentiment. First, they spoke to Pearl Jam drummer Matt Cameron, who said, quote, he told me that he couldn't fucking do it anymore. Those were his words, Cameron told Rolling Stone. He says it was his belief that Taylor Hawkins and Dave Grohl had engaged in a heart to heart about performing so often, quote, so I guess they did come to some understanding, but it just seems like the touring schedule got even crazier after that. He tried to keep up, Cameron added. He just did whatever it took to keep up, and in the end, he couldn't keep up. Canadian singer Sass Jordan, who gave Taylor Hawkins his first job and was close friends with Taylor, says he felt he was, quote, tired of the whole game. He says that he spoke to Taylor Hawkins via text about getting together when Foo Fighters were performing in Toronto, and he told Rolling Stone, quote, and he goes, oh my fucking God, I can't look at the goddamn tour schedule it gives me anxiety. Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith was also interviewed for this report, which he has released a statement in response to. We will read both statements released by Pearl Jam's Matt Cameron and Red Hot Chili Peppers' Chad Smith. In this Rolling Stone report, Chad Smith responds to a rumored incident last December where Taylor Hawkins was rumored to have lost consciousness during a flight. Reports never indicated which member of the Foo Fighters was said to have received medical attention, but Chad Smith offered this in the article for Rolling Stone. Quote, he just said he was exhausted and collapsed, and they had to pump him full of IVs and shit. He said that incident was, quote, one of the straws that broke the camel's back. After that, he had a real important heart-to-heart -heart with Dave and the management. He said, I can't continue on this schedule and so we've got to figure out something. Foo Fighters management responded to the Rolling Stone report and denied all claims made within. Quote, no, there was never a heart to heart or any sort of meeting on the topic with Dave or the management. The representative added that Hawkins, quote, never informed Dave and the management of his feelings about the schedule. It's worth noting that none of the band's members or any of Hawkins' family members agreed to be interviewed. Pearl Jam drummer Matt Cameron released a statement after this Rolling Stone report came out in which he distanced himself from the comments he made. Quote, when I agreed to take part in the Rolling Stone article about Taylor, I assumed it would be a celebration of his life and work. My quotes were taken out of context and shaped into a narrative I had never intended. Taylor was a dear friend and a next level artist. I miss him. I have only the deepest love and respect for Taylor, Dave, and the Foo Fighters families. I am truly sorry to have taken part in this interview, and I apologize that my participation may have caused harm to those for whom I have only the deepest respect and admiration. Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith echoed that sentiment in a statement which he released, adding, quote, Taylor was one of my best friends, and I would do anything for his family. I was asked by Rolling Stone to talk about Taylor for a tribute article, and I certainly didn't expect it to be a piece about his last days. Had I known that, I never would have talked to the magazine, and I apologize for any pain my participation in the article may have caused his families and his musical friends. I miss him every day. This is definitely a controversial article. It is interesting, though, that multiple people, including his peers in the music industry, did express the sentiment that he was burned out by the Foo Fighters touring schedule. Make of that what you will. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.